What's good, y'all? It's your boy Daru back in the cut. And as y'all are likely aware, on the last part that I uploaded for this Dark Cloud 2 walkthrough, there were some audio issues. Um, I didn't check to make sure that the desktop audio was recording and it didn't get any gameplay sound for the entire last two hours that I recorded. So I just uploaded it all in a whole two hour video. You can go back and see that if you want to. It just has my voice in it. But I went and made sure that everything was set up this time. So don't worry, y'all will not have to worry about that again. And I made multiple save files. So if that does for some reason ever happen again, I could go back and replay it without having to worry about, you know, starting a new game and trying to play back up to that point. Cause that's just too much work. So don't worry, y'all will never have a part where the audio's messed up like that again. So uh, yeah, let's get right back to it like we never left, man. Rainbow Butterfly Wood. We're almost at the boss. We got two more stages and then we got the boss stage. Oh, I remember these dudes. What was I in the middle of trying to upgrade? I got the drill wrench and I got the trumpet gun. So was I trying to upgrade Monica? I was I'm trying to upgrade her longsword. These dudes are shooting at me. You know what? I think I forgot to restock on bread. I got a little bit. Got three pieces of bread. Oh, Max has a lot more. All right. Let's push on the shelf. I can steal something from him. I knew he was going to do that. Or smack me with the damn gun. Got the fairy saw already. Chill. No effect. It's probably because I was just too far away. Get the drill stone. Alright y'all, I'm about to go ahead and figure out what I need to put into this sword to upgrade it. Give me just one second. Alright, we back. We need 19 smash, 14 beast. Wait a minute, the long sword has two levels it can go to. That or the broad sword. Nah, because I'll make that later. So yep. So three smash crystals. Or destruction crystals. And I need four beasts, so I wonder if I can do that without using any of my hunter crystals. Nope. 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 One of these has to give the beast stat. Yep. You can use two pieces of bait. I actually use this piece of bait. I bet. So now I can save my crystals. Set the size of those smash points into there. I bet. Now we can get the bastard sword. Oop. And the bastard sword will put us on the path to get the Island King eventually, I think. I think at some point you could switch paths, maybe. Yeah, we can actually switch next. On the very next path we could switch, otherwise it would just be straight to the Island King. Which is one of the final weapons in the game. For this game, there's not like one final weapon for every weapon. There's like three different final swords you can get, depending on which branching paths you take. That's why there are branching paths. And the same applies to the wrench. And there are also hammers in this game that I don't really use, but I think they're pretty powerful. And so I'm assuming that applies to the guns as well and the armulets. All 
Oh yeah, I can see the damage. I can see the improved damage. I don't know if this is an enemy that they would rather me fight with the ride pod, but the sword is doing a decent job, so we're just gonna use the sword. As a matter of fact, maybe I should finish this level with the ride pod to get it upgraded. We're gonna see if we can upgrade the ride pod after this level is over. We'll just go ahead and repair both. I gotta worry about going back into the family again. Dang, it takes the fighter like three hits just to die from the ride pod? Uh oh. This man just hit me and took all that fuel out. Do I have a key? I have to have gotten a key. I did all this playing and did not get a key yet. Okay, so there's a chance. Do I have ride off fuel? If it poisons me or something, that's cool. As long as it don't blow up, let's force it. Poison trap, that's okay. I'll just take an antidote. Bone rape here. First of all, here's the antidotes. Boom. This nigga almost died. Oh yeah, because he died in the last level. <laughs> Go ahead and repair this. And uh the bone rape here. Let me look at the stats of it. 22 attack. I got 27 with my sword that I just got upgraded to. We're just gonna use Max to run through the level. Once again, he's a lot faster than the ride pile. That's the end. I might as well go this way then. Go to that area last. I forgot that I got the map earlier. That's why this level was named. This spider light is all over this level. Get some experience. This big old mimic. Oh, get up out of here. Who's the last enemy, too? 
I almost took out my ride pod. You know what? I'm not gonna waste a ride pod for you. I know what I'm gonna do. We finna go look about to see if we can get this upgrade anyway. Might as well go to him. Oh, there we go. What we gonna do, we gonna go back to the Sendane station and have Cedric just repair the ride pod. He can do that. In case y'all didn't know. Cussing? All right, so I want me to go back and get a look for my gardener, but first, I'm going to do the second to last mission. And I forgot I need to start. Oh, first of all, this is the dude I was telling you about. I can give me bombs. Just add him to the party real quick. And then use him to make a couple bombs. And then it stuff for punishes after every few levels. But he makes six improved bombs. These bombs is way strong. I see if I'd have had these on that level where I fought, where I ran into them dudes when Max died, I could have beat him. What does he do? Oh yeah, he gives you better items when you beat a monster. Basically, you get a chance at better items. And then Cedric. When you upgrade your wrench, you get more SP points to put into it, which is good for especially for later in the game. Uh, repair it. Okay, so I think the barrel cannon is stronger than this. Is I'm not buying this is terrible, but I think the barrel cannon is stronger than my cannonball arm, so I might as well buy it. Improved core, barrel cannon. Go to my ride pod. 60 attack. Equip the barrel cannon. Yep, 95 attack. And I ain't got to get close no more. I could just shoot him from a distance. So, yep. 
Mó bero. So I usually, when I'm going through the first dungeons, I add this dude. I didn't have nobody in my party. I guess I was rushing and I forgot to do it, but I usually add this dude right here to my party. Because according to his ability, it boosts item acquisitions when you defeat a monster. So beating monsters should give me slightly better items than, or maybe just a higher percentage chance to get good items. And that's right over there. All right, we'll do this final dungeon level of this part. What's sealed off? Oh, white seal. I think that means I can't go. I can't use the ride pod. Okay, that's fine. And they're gonna play that final dungeon music. Once we get up in here. Yeah, this is the music that always plays on the last levels of the dungeons. So you know it's real. Oh, this is the one where I can't restore health and stuff like that. Unless buy something like a coin or one of those health restoration booths, whatever you want to call them. Oh, there was a Monica Sword Medal. Forget that though, matter of fact, we can't even restore health. I don't want to risk getting hit. We're going to use this Ride Pot. It's gonna be another ride pile of them. Might as well. Look at that. We are here one shotting these boys. I like that. I'm gonna save that coin for later. You know what? Nah, I'm not gonna feel like running all the way back here just to get it. But it could save my life. But we're just gonna be extra careful during this level, I guess. I got the devil anyway. Oh, nope. Got the angel. I'm pretty sure I can still restore my weapons and stuff. I just can't heal myself and cure abnormal statuses. So if I get poisoned or something, I can't take an antidote. Stuff like that. So, we just, once again, we're going to use this ride pod. Make sure it don't nothing like that happen. We ain't going to get close enough for them to get poisoned. Only bad thing about the long range weapon on the ride pod is that you can't block. Like y'all see how I could block when I had the cannonball arms, but you can't block with these, so you just gotta move out the way. Slash punch, huh? Oh, that's the exit, I believe. Yep. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine enemies left on this map. Not including any mimics that may be disguising themselves as chess. <laughs> the final jail stone. Ah, oh. hey, get off the iPod to grab it. So when it says boost item acquisition when you defeat a monster, I don't know if it means that I got a chance to get a better item or if it means I have a better chance to get an item. Because I feel like every monster you beat drops something, but that might not be the case. Yeah, see, Hunker Coppers, he look, I feel like every monster is going to drop something. So it has to be that you just get a better chance to get a better item. I could be wrong though. Get back. What was that? Oh, he's shooting at me.
Look at these niggas guarding the thing. Hey, I shot him without even locking on to him. What a slash branch, probably at the bottom. Yep. That was pretty easy final level in the dungeon. And since that all monsters are clear, I know this is not a mimic. Okay, that's why I was lagging like that. Okay. Let's go for the red box this time. Oh, that fist would have been that fist would have been cool. I think that's like the beginning of a of the hammer path. It's a, I know it's it's shaped like a fist, but I believe it's one of the hammer items in the game. I mean, I could always get a hammer later from the weapon shop, but it would have been dope to get that one. Oh, well, I got four wind crystals, so that's cool, too. I'm going to need those later. Everything is useful. Say this game real quick. I'm gonna save it just right here. That third file is the the other save for this. So if something happens with this video, I can just go back and do it again and make sure it don't mess up. Now this is the final mission for Rainbow Falls. Now I do remember we're gonna go there, but I do remember that you gotta go and do some other stuff to get the thing to make this thing grow. It's supposed to be like this big flower that's gonna grow here. Yeah. So yeah, there's like a huge fire that's gonna grow here and you fight the boss on top of it. But in order to get everything you need to do that, because I don't think he gave me anything. Yeah, so to get everything you need to do to do that, you gotta do a whole bunch of story stuff. I mean, I gotta go back to town, recruit some people, build in the uh, Giorama, and move them in, do all kinds of stuff. Basically, that stuff that y'all see me doing, with Carpenterian, where you could build and break stuff down. I gotta do all of that now and complete all that. Oh, just so I can be a little more clear on what I'm talking about. Go ahead, run up in here. Download the final Geostone. So, yeah. All of these objectives now, I got to go ahead and fulfill these. Oh, yeah, the last two have question marks on them because they can be revealed later. Because uh, you don't have to get the Giorama to 100% to go through it. Like, you only, I think it's like 70%. It's probably, it's not even a certain percent. But you don't have to do everything to finish a chapter. But you can come back later and get 100% to get extra stuff. Like, they'll give you extra items and stuff if you complete your ROM 100%. So, yeah, I think that's a good part to end it off on. I'm going to do all that extra stuff off camera. And when y'all come back, y'all going to see a lot more here than just this house and these two trees. And then we're going to continue with the story. Don't worry, I ain't going to skip no story stuff for y'all. This all going to be the side stuff you got to do before you can continue the story. So, yep, yeah, that's one part. I'll see y'all on the next part. It's Dr. Kid signing out. Peace.